This is an ACC second generation battery operated power ascender. It can be used with or without remote control. Variable speed able to both ascend and descend. The ACC is an obvious choice for most rope access applications. It is a competitive alternative to scaffolding, skylift and powered platforms. One of the core parts of the ACC power ascender is a battery pack. It is a lithium-ion high current battery. So please first read carefully the safety notice concerning this kind of battery. The charging time is about four hours for a full load. We recommend to recharge always a battery at 100%. What will happen if you don't do so? The battery indicator of the winch will show an incorrect value. To charge a battery, first plug the battery to the charger and then connect to the power supply. The lead on the charger will turn to orange and then after about one hour or 80% of charge will turn to yellow and finally to green after a full charge or four hours. After charging, first disconnect from power supply and then disconnect the battery from the charger. The battery is now ready to be used. To connect a battery to the ACC, insert a battery pack to its pocket and connect the battery to the plug. After this is done, you can switch on and control the LED indicator of the battery. If you need to store the ACC for a longer time, we recommend to disconnect the battery. Before going on ropes, be sure you are using a fully charged battery. Check the connector, the sling and the rope grab system and then a functional test of the winch. Moving up, down and also control the function of the safety switch on the side. So we are now ready to install the rope into the winch. First, be sure that the winch is switched off. Then you open the rope protector and just check that the rope grab has no dirt. You can introduce now the rope through the loop and around the rope grab. The free end of the rope always on the same side as the control panel of the winch. Close the rope cover. You can now switch on the ACC and carry out the functional test. Just be sure that the rope coming from the anchors go through the rope grab following the arrows and going out on the side of the control panel. If you install the rope on the wrong way, it will not be possible to carry out the lifting test. What to do if you run out of battery? The ACC is equipped with an emergency descender and as the name says, it is only for emergency use and not to save battery. 
So insert a pin into the hole of the descender, grab the free end of the working rope and adjust your speed by pushing on a pin. Another setup to connect the winch to the technician's harness is to use a quick draw, a Mayon Rapid and a small rigging plate. In that configuration, the winch is maintained in a very high position, which makes work for the technician much easier. Another advantage is to connect the backup device to the rigging plate the advantage is that the backup device is maintained at any time in a high position and it reduces an eventual fall factor on it. In case of emergency, I can activate or wake up the system from the ground with a remote control by pressing the central button and I can lower or lift the person with two different speeds or lift pushing any button of the receiver activates the remote control system select the down speed function with the right button select the up speed function with the left button press once for half speed or press twice for full speed and use the central button to run the ascender. When the receiver is on, the ascender can only be operated over the remote system. When approaching a knot like a belay or an anchor, it's important to keep a safety distance to the knot at any time. It will avoid this knot to go through the loop and damage it and also the rope grab. 